Hey, this is Adam from Brighter, and I'm going to show you today a cool feature in Brighter. It's a small feature, but quite powerful, and it's one of my favorite to, favorites to play around with. So what I've got on the screen is a view of a database called Companies, and uh, basically it's a set of fake companies. Uh, there's an ID, a company name, a region, an industry, and a structure. And uh, what we're going to show is how, with a database like this, you're able to actually query the database and use the options or the results of that query as your options dynamically in a single select node. So that's a lot of words, but let me show you what I'm talking about. So if we go back to modules and we create a new module, uh, we're going to call this filtered inputs. And our first input, we're going to call it region select. So if you remember our list of companies, we have um, uh, region and there's some commonality across regions as well as across industries and structures. So we'll start with region select. We'll say pick a region. And our options for this, we're going to hard code as North America, South America, um, Africa, Asia, Pacific, and Europe. All right, and now we're actually going to use the results of this um, selection to populate a value node called region. And we'll just reference whatever is selected, like so. And we're going to use this value node to actually help us uh, filter the database to get the right set of our subset of companies. So we'll have an action node, we'll have a read from a case database, we'll select the company's database, we'll select filter, and we're going to filter on company region being equal to our region value. And we'll call this uh, get matching companies. So what we want to do is based on the region selection, we want to pull in a list of the matching companies. And then we want to have a second input called pick your company, call this company select. And this time, instead of uh, hard coding the values in the options area, we're actually going to use options from a collection. And we're going to use the collection we just created, get matching companies. We're going to use company name to fill out the labels for the options. And there we go. And then finally, in our result node, we're going to highlight our results. So we'll call this and we'll reference the selected company name, selected company region, selected company industry, and finally the selected company structure. All right, so this is a simple demonstration. We're going to pick the region. We're going to use the region to filter our list of companies, and we're going to present that list of companies as options in our single select. And I'm going to actually show these options as a drop down. And then the results are going to be shown, the, the, the selected company and its um, attributes are going to be shown in this final node. So let's publish this and see how it looks. So first we select the region. We'll start with uh, North America. We'll hit next, and now we're given another input and we're automatically filtered down to the companies that are in North America. So if we pick Starlight Corporation, we're shown Starlight Com Corporation in North America, entertainment industry, and it's a corporate structure. We can run this again and instead pick Africa and it gives us a different list of companies. And again, we can even do it one more time. Let's do Europe this time. Okay, so that's a quick demonstration of a really powerful feature. And that is essentially dynamically creating lists of options for a select input based on a filtered query to your database. There's a whole lot you can do. I'll be excited to share more of what you can do with this feature and other features soon. Thanks.